These fixed global positioning antennas are bolted to everything from buildings to concrete posts. And many of these antennas are on or near Washington's coast, monitored by satellite. We can get data from anywhere on the coast of Washington back to CWU in one point something seconds. Tim Melbourne heads the Pacific Northwest Geodetic Array at Central Washington University in Ellensburg. He specializes in the way the earth moves, is squeezed and stretched. And for years now, this university in the center of the state has created a picture of Washington's coastline. Each dot is a GPS antenna, and the arrows show how they have moved over the years to the northeast under tremendous pressure as the ocean floor is pushed against the North American continent. The ocean floor and the land are stuck together along a giant fault. And eventually that, the stresses will overcome the strength of that fault and all this will slide. And then those stations will move the other way in a giant quake and move fast. Melbourne says that can tell them a lot about the tsunami wave the quake will generate. What does this latest round of funding give you? So we will be using it uh, to expand the network, expand the number of stations that we can position. It's a network that Melbourne hopes to take global as tsunami threats to us also originate from Japan and Alaska. And Melbourne says computers can analyze the shift from GPS antennas faster than seismic waves. And particularly for tsunamis in our own waters where minutes to evacuate to higher ground are critical. What the GPS allows is a much more sculpted message that can be crafted by tsunami warning centers. Now, Panga started at CWU back about 25 years ago, and other quakes have also shown their distortions of the earth, including the Nisqually earthquake of 2001. At Richmond Beach, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.